Anthony, thank you so much for sharing all of the insights. And I think the dialogue that we just had was indicative of why we've had schools of We're going to carry on this discussion for a long, long time. I want to tell them to come argue. <laughs> so I can learn something. Some of them are quite <laughs> argumentative, but we're going to have to come on up and argue. Uh, this is a part of our program that I look forward to, in addition to hearing the wonderful insights and policy initiatives. However, right, we are also celebrating. Can you imagine there are young people who want to carry on these discussions for the rest of their lives? They are absolutely amazing. I'm going to get out of the way and call up. Current Scoville fellows. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to sneak another drink of the food while I'm doing it. We'll sort of segue <laughs> here into the fellows. Um, but they are, we have generally on average about four fellows for each nine months. Seven or eight per year. What we have with us now, we're going to come up and we're going to talk to you a little bit about who they are, how they got some crazy ideas of wanting to solve the world peace and environmental security. Um, and they include, uh, so you can start walking on up here and grab the microphone from me. Chelsea Green, uh, Chelsea Green. Chelsea uh, Green is with the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Laura Strawmeyer, Alliance for Peace Building. Uh, Laura Strawmeyer, Alliance for Peace Building. All 2016 fellows. Uh, Marley Pittman has completed her fellowship and returned to Louisiana. We'll talk about doing God's work. Um, in fact, I'll just say because she won't be able to be here and speak for herself, Marley. Uh, at Louisiana State, she has a fellowship at the Truman Center for National Policy, where she worked with Leo Neal on 21st Century Security Policy Platforms. Uh, she also participated in the Albright Fellowship, uh, and worked with Truman Scholars across the country, and is now working with AmeriCorps uh, in New Orleans, who's working with local residents with the active by national disasters, which I would add may have something to do with. We also have um, slightly before that our spring 2017 fellows, Jesse Marks, Jesse Davis.
also for some of the years and those that are serving on the board and those that come to fellows, we're just entirely grateful to you. I think that is so. Thank you very much. Thank you. 